Welcome everyone to Worship Center. We're so glad you're here watching and going to be listening to the story today. When we come to Worship Center, we begin by talking with each other and sharing how we're feeling. And that's something I miss. Share with your friends, with your family, how you're feeling. Share your happy moments and things that make you sad, things that worry you or things that you're excited about. And they'll begin to share them with you as well. One more thing we do is after the story, we respond to it. We hear the story, it's within us, we live in it, and then we respond to it through art, music, play, making books, anything that you do. And if you'd like to share it with us, please email me and I will make sure it gets on and we can share it with others in the congregation. Let us begin our worship today. The Lord be with you and you respond and also with you. Thank you. Now we'll get our bodies ready and our space ready so that we can sit and listen and hear the word. Let us pray. Dear creator of all that is good, be with us today in the center as you always are. Help us with the words, help our children to hear and have open hearts. Amen. Now with the lighting of the Christ candle, we will begin. still and know that God is here. Be still and know that God is here. Be still and know that God is here. This is the story of the tabernacle as told in the book of Exodus. God loved the people so much that God gave to them and to us the 10 best ways to live. Sometimes we call the 10 best ways the law. The people of God knew that the law was very precious, so they made a golden box to keep it in. They called this golden box the Ark of the Covenant, and they kept the Ark inside the beautiful tabernacle in a place called the Holy of Holies. No one could go into this place except the special priest. In front of the Holy of Holies was the altar of incense. This is where the sweet smelling incense was burned. The people believed that God would enjoy the smell of the smoke which drifted up to heaven. This is a table of shrew bread. Each Sabbath day, the priest would put 12 fresh pieces of unleavened bread on this table. This is the golden candlestick. It was a can there was a candle in each branch which the priest would light. The curtain that covered the front of the tabernacle. Every morning, the first rays of sun would touch this place. This is a laver, a large brass bowl where the priests would wash their hands and feet to make themselves clean before going into the holy tabernacle of God. Here is the altar of burnt offerings. Sacrifices were burned here. All around the holy tent was a great linen fence. The tabernacle had special coverings. The first 
was the most beautiful, embroidered in red and blue and purple. The second was a covering of goat's hair. The third was a covering of ram skin dyed red. And the final covering was made of animal skin so that the animals that passed by in the desert would not know what valuable things were kept in the tabernacle. They, were, they would think it was just an ordinary tent. All of this to make a place in the desert to worship God and to keep the 10 best ways to live. I wonder, is there something that you like about this story? Do you think God was pleased that the people had made a place to worship and to keep the 10 best ways to live? I wonder what it would have been like to be the special priest in the tabernacle, to burn the sacrifices, to light the candles, to place the bread. I wonder how it would have felt. Whenever the people of God moved to another place in the desert, they could take down the fence. and the tabernacle. They could take all of the things that were in the tabernacle and package them up and take them wherever they went.